We're at IDF 2014. We're taking a look at the Dell Venue 8 7000. This is an Android uh, tablet, 6 millimeters thin, 8.4 inch, I think is the screen, or is it 8.5? I can't remember. 2K screen, and it's an OLED screen. It's absolutely beautiful, really, really black blacks there, and nice color. I'm sure that's covering a large amount of color space there. Uh, speaker on the on the bottom here, camera here now. This is uh, based on the Intel's at uh, 3000 series uh, CPU, and on the back we've got something special. Now this is RealSense. This is one of the RealSense uh, cameras. This is actually RealSense Snapshot, and it's a dual camera solution. One on the left, one on the right there, with post-processing to do some really nifty stuff with uh, photography. So depth sensing allows you to uh, measure devices on screen and do some really ni nice sort of post-processing in terms of sort of focus, depth of field, that sort of stuff. So um, really nicely finished device. I'm guessing this is not going to be a cheap tablet, right? I mean, with that AMOLED screen and what is said to be the thinnest tablet in the world at the moment, six millimeters, I think, the, uh, the next thinnest is 6.3 millimeters, so we're splitting hairs, but it's really, really gorgeous. We've got power button, we've got volume rocker, uh, probably a little microphone there on the, on the left hand side micro USB on the, on the bottom with a headset jack and on the other side I think you'll find there's a micro SD card so there it is down down there not sure if this is going to come in LTE versions but uh, I think we're talking about 2 gigs of RAM 16 gigs of storage on this and like I said the Z3000 platform it's a really really lovely device I'm looking forward to maybe testing finding out some more some official specs and of course the price which we don't know we can only speculate right now but I'm guessing this is not your 299 tablet this is more 3, 399 maybe if we're lucky 349 who knows so that's the Dell Venue 87000 I've got a little uh, photo demo I want to show you after this so, so stay tuned Right, so let's uh, have a look at a couple of demos then. I think we've got uh, two or three demos you can show us, right? Do yeah. the snow demo first. That's sure. quite impressive. Yeah, that's kind of fun. It's uh, basically we use the depth information in the photo uh, to uh, snow, you know, you see the snow coming down and accumulating uh, appropriately on the different elements of the scene. Uh, also, the front snow is bigger than the far away snow. Uh, just a one way to show off what you could do with depth photos. It's kind of a fun way. You shake it and, uh, you know, it's like a real snow globe. It, it restarts. Um, the other one is uh, the parallax viewing. Um, here I'm showing it on a, on a tractor. Uh, let me show it to you on, on this girl's jumping. Right, if you look yeah. carefully on that, you can just see the background. Yeah, it's... You know, uh, she's like floating there. Floating, basically, yeah. Um, what sort of resolution is on, on those cameras? Um, the, the three cameras in the back are regular RGB cameras. Uh, this is an 8 megapixel camera as the main camera. Right. The two auxiliary cameras are 720p each. And uh, we shoot them at the same time and um, um, combine them to extract depth from it. Right. So this is where the main photo source is coming from and this is where the depth information is coming from. Actually, we use all three to extract depth. All right. So we use info from all three of them. We right. post-process them. You can take as many pictures as you want in a row, but uh, in the background, we, uh, we start processing them. And then once you process them once, then you can do all the stuff you could do with depth, like refocus, selective filter, measurement, and snow globe, stuff yeah. like that, parallax. There was one more demo of a cat walking on the table, I think, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was another nice. fun one. <clears throat> So here um, we do, in addition to depth, <laughs> we use depth to, to do surface detection. So here we're, we have a table and we've calculated the, the, the plane on this table. And we, we have a little chipmunk that we throw up on the table. It's kind of like stickers app, but um, it's, a, it's, it's live and it's animated. And uh, the, the chipmunk never falls off the table because we know the edges, and we're you know um, we're able to 
keep them on the table, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there an SDK available for the camera that uh, developers can use? There is. Uh, they'll uh, use the Intel SDK to develop their gallery, which has the refocus uh, measurement and um, filters um, built into it. Um, the SDK is going to be available publicly in Q1 of 2015. Right. Um, and uh, every all the apps you saw here was built on the SDK to kind of showcase the the features of depth photography. And they'll be available with the product when it launches in November, right? Uh, no, the Dell Gallery will be, yeah. Right. But the other apps uh, right now are just uh, for demonstration purposes. Uh, we haven't really decided if we're going to release them or not. Okay, yeah. oh, I think you should. They look like great apps anyway. Okay, thank Good. you. Good, thanks for the demo. Okay.